In a Weber mobile product, instead of building a physical prototype, you need to have a low fidelity app or website available for customer feedback. What does low fidelity mean? Well, that's just kind of my description of you don't need an entire finished website, but you should at least have a wireframe. And if you don't have a wireframe, you should at least have a PowerPoint of mock-ups or a flash demo or something so people could see not only what you're describing in words, but actually could say, oh, I get it. Now remember, don't demo that first. Your goal here is to first understand the problem. And I make people sometimes who like to give demos leave all that stuff home when you're first having the problem discussion. But the minute you get into the, well, would something like this solve your problem? For a web mobile app, you really want to get feedback on a low fidelity app as quickly as possible. And when we teach this as a class, literally by the second week of the class, if you're building a web and mobile app, you have to have your site or wireframe up and running so people can actually see it and give you feedback. Later on, you're going to build what I call the high fidelity app, and that tests your understanding of the solution. This uh, actually has most of the features, might not have health files, the graphics might not be complete, but a high fidelity app uh, gives you more resolution on, well, we really didn't like that color, we, you know, that button was in the wrong place, etc. This helps you avoid building products no one wants. And it maximizes the learning per time spent on the product and on customers.